Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingerSplyShop.com bringing you another episode, a uh, new pattern today um, around our area here on Yellow Creek which is not too far from the shop one of the f best summertime patterns that uh, you can use out there is the black fly larva it's a very small fly and uh, it catches a lot of fish this time of year um, I know a couple of my friends, uh, Squeege and Brian, they both swear by this on Yellow Creek and so I'm going to tell you a variation of a way that I've seen it tied earlier, but um, using a couple different materials that you might, you know, you might not think of whenever it comes to the black fly larva. A lot of guys just use embroidery thread or thread, and we got a really cool color of uh, cream stretch tubing, and it makes a really nice segmented body. So here's a picture of the fly and the material list to tie it. Okay, here you see the fly in the vise. It's a really simple one. Let's get into tying it. And as you see, it's a really small one. This is going to be tied on a 718 fire hole in a size 20. And let's get that in the vise there. The bead that I'm using is a Almond Joy colored fire hole stones, and it is a 2.5 millimeter or 332nd. For thread, I'm using some 70 denier white thread, and we're just going to wrap that on there and get it started. And the last thing I'm going to use is a new color of uh, stretch tubing that we started carrying at the shop, and that color is cream. And it really makes a nice color blend, it makes a really nice natural looking color for this fly. Um, and it gives it a nice rib so I know a lot of guys will tie this and they'll use just thread and that's fine it's nice and easy um, I'm using this you know I'm gonna be fishing this as a dropper a lot of times so I want that bead on there to get me down and this rib here or sorry this uh, stretch tube will make a nice ribbed body so I'm just gonna tie that down there I'm gonna give it a little tool tug on the back to make it thinner as I go back and then I'm gonna add just a little bit of body not much just a little bit of body that it flows into that head nicely into that bead to make the head and it, that it's not off shaping so there you can see I made about three or four layers on there and then we're just gonna wrap this forward and as I wrap it forward I'm gonna use a little bit less pressure with every wrap and you can do this on your rotary vise usually I do but I'll just do this real quick by hand for those of you who don't have a rotary vise and we're just gonna wrap that right up to that bead tuck it in behind the bead and tie it off and you can see this makes just a natural little grub like pattern to represent the black fly larva there is not much to the black fly larva and it is very small. Um, I wouldn't tie it, you could tie it on an 18, but that's the biggest I would tie it. The 20 is a really nice size for it. And this white color doesn't hurt you, it blends in kind of. You could use a cream if you want, cream thread if you want, but I'm happy with the white. And that's all that's to it. That, whoops, I cut that a little too short there. I got two whip finishes in there, so that'll be fine. I'll put a little head cement on it here. And that's all that's to this fly. So give that fly a try. You can see there how it has a nice little rib segmented body to it. And just gives it a little extra detail than just tying thread on there. Okay, as you saw, that was a very easy pattern to tie. Um, just a couple minutes and this time of year in the summertime when I'm when I'm putting this video out it's a really uh, it's a really successful fly we catch a lot of fish on it this time of year so um, give it a try on your local waters you know you may not have the black fly larva but you may have something in there similar to it so you know it's 
It's just a buggy looking pattern. It's buggy colors. Um, give it a try and the material you need to tie it you can find at the shop at wholesingersflyshop.com and uh, thanks for the suggestions you've been giving me on uh, my YouTube channel and my email. Uh, my email if you want to suggest something is wholesingersflyshop at gmail.com and uh, you know we got some of those suggestions coming up for you so be on the lookout for them. Until next time guys keep tight lines and I'm Sean Holsinger.